with a lace bind off for half of the stitches and I'm going to show you how to do that what you want to do is you want to chain the first peg five times two three four five knit the second peg take that second stitch put it on peg one toss the bottom loop over and move the stitch over one then you're going to knit the second peg move it back one toss the bottom loop over move over one you're going to chain five one two three four five knit the second stitch move the second stitch over to the first stitch toss the bottom loop over move that over one knit the second stitch move that over toss the bottom loop over ok and what you're keeping in mind is you want one loop for every two pegs so there's one, two, so we should have two loops ok so keep that in mind and you can chain more or less as you want if you would like to but there is your two chain loops ok so now we're to the third set so you want to chain five one two three four and five take that move it over sorry get that back okay then you want to take and knit the second stitch you want to move it back one toss the bottom loop over move it over one and then knit the second stitch move it over one toss the bottom loop over so you could say that you do the ear up chain bind off and then a regular bind off every other time so we're doing our chain so here's one two three four five knit the second stitch take and move it over one toss the bottom loop over move it over one knit the next stitch move it back one toss the bottom loop over and move it over one here up chain five one two three four and five then you're going to knit the second peg take that back knit the bottom loop over move it over one knit move back toss the bottom loop over move over one you wrap chain one two three four five knit peg two move over to peg one toss the bottom loop over move over knit the next peg move over toss the bottom loop over move over how many have we done so yep that's 18 okay and as you can see 
you have a little lace trim here and um, that has a nice little extra to it 